this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a short staff or a walking stick for self-defense. For this video, I'm gonna be using this long staff that I cut down. That means it used to be taller than I am. I messed up the end, I cut it off, and now it comes about mid-bicep. That's not a hard and fast rule. Don't overthink it. If it's taller than you, it's a long staff. If it's shorter than you by a lot, it's a short staff. If it's about as long as your forearm to your fingertip, it's a stick. Call it whatever you want, grab yours and follow me. I'm gonna have you warm your hands and your wrists up with this overhand spin. An obvious question might be, why would you spin in self-defense? And you wouldn't until you expand your concept of what self-defense is. If you wanna be a martial artist, expand that concept of self-defense. Self-defense against weak wrists and hands and hands that are gonna drop the staff because they don't have any muscles in them. Self-defense against that is spinning the staff. Stop it and spin it back the other way. All right, now you're warmed up. Let's talk about how to carry it. Most obvious way to carry your short staff is as a walking stick. You're behind it in this position. Anytime you're using it, assisting you, whether you're really leaning into it or you just have it on the ground, you're behind it. That means when the threat is in front of you, your stick is between the threat and your body, your vital organs especially. From this position, you can just simply pick it up and grab it with the other hand. Now you have it like this. This is how we fought in the Marine Corps with the pugil sticks or with the bayonet on the end of the rifle. It's a very obvious, instinctive way to use a walking stick. You're behind your stick, you bring it in, slide in a little bit, get a good grip, make sure your fists are tight, and jam right into the body. Now, I don't want you to overthink technique too much at this beginning stage. Principle over technique. The principle involved is keep the stick between you and the other guy the technique that's involved can be a jab, can be a slam down on the top of their head. You can whack them with the backside of the staff. You can, I don't know if you know how to spin, do some kind of fancy spin. That's technique and technique is not important. Principle is situational awareness first, pay attention to what's happening around you. Number two, what are their targets? Number three, what tools do you have to destroy or remove their targets? And then after that, number four is just the fight's not over till you win. Now back to the stance. You can be carrying it in this position. If you feel like a threat is more imminent or you don't feel secure, maybe you think there's somebody behind you or to the side of you, bring it up to the hand. Walk like this, but this is a little bit more menacing. If you walk around like this, you'll provoke something that wasn't supposed to be there. But it's better to be safe than sorry. That means it's better to be more prepared when you feel like there might be a threat, then to be caught completely off guard. Another way to think about carrying it is just in the hand next to your body, walking like this. It's a short enough staff, it's not ridiculously long. Maybe it looks like you're carrying a piece of lumber. So you're walking down the street, or in an alleyway, or wherever you are, you have your stick in your hand like this. You can stop, you can talk to people. You don't have to look like a threat. Again, threat, just carrying a piece of wood. Now, back to the strikes. I said you can jam in this way into their body. Now there are all kinds of techniques involved and again, don't worry about technique yet. We'll go over that later. Just think of pushing, tight grip, slam as hard as you can in the center of the body. The second one is lifting and coming down at this angle. Think about this angle here on my uniform, this V that comes on both sides. The clavicle is right there. This uh, thin bone that's here in the front and there's some bone back here. You hit that, you break that, all of a sudden they have a hard time using that arm, a hard time breathing. You take this, slam it straight down, right on their clavicle. Maybe they're reaching in to grab or they've got something in their hand they're trying to hit you with. Then you're striking, again, tight grip, hard as you can, and then you're still here, you need to add a second strike. Third strike, pushing that right hand or that back hand right, think of a punch to the face. Bringing it straight across, hitting the jaw, hitting the temple. Again, they're coming in trying to grab, hit that hand. Put those three together, down 
in, across. Or across, down, in. Doesn't matter, you have these basic strikes that you can figure out. You can even use that back of the staff, smash them in this way. Again, going back to the Marine Corps, pugil sticks or fighting with a rifle with a bayonet, a sharp, uh, sharp knife on the end. These are all the basic, they're instinctive moves. That's why we fight this way. Strike down, strike across, hit them with the butt of the rifle, over the head, through the body, across the jaw, head, body, jaw, right in the middle. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about those basic techniques and what else you need to work on to feel safe in your situation with your walking stick for self-defense. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Let me know how else I can help you in the comment section below. Leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, I'd love to hear your opinion in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next video.